Take the familiar shape of Shavasana. Lying on the floor, the bed, the sofa. Wherever it is that you can come into a space of deep rest. A thin blanket might cloak your body. An eye pillow might rest on your eyes. The arms are just past your body with the palms facing up. Feet are just past hip width distance apart. Take the slightest tuck of the shoulders underneath your body. As the chin humbles into your chest. Let's take a deep breath in together, fill up. Exhale, side out, let it go. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go. And then this time we'll hold at the top of the inhale and allow constriction to take over your whole physical body. As you've tightened all the muscles, grip in the hands, clench through your whole body, holding the breath. Exhale, let it all go. As your body collapses into the earth beneath you, shoulders anchor to the mat. And the back of your heart roots into the soil, into the ground that you rest upon. As everything softens a little deeper, space between the eyebrows increases. Eyes fall deeper into their sockets. And as the skin and the muscle drape heavier and heavier over your bones, the heart cracks open a little more. begin the practice of yoga nidra through the practice of yoga nidra we will move into an in-between state where all timelines and physical matter cease to exist a liminal space where all possibilities reside purest potentials are possible. It is in this space that we commune with the highest self, the ancient wise crone that breathes the marrow through our bones. Where we fall heavy into the fertile soil of the mother that holds us. As we surrender to her gravitational pull, and crack open to the cosmos, the stars that are all within and all around. The intention with the practice is to stay awake as you linger on the threshold between awake and asleep. Holding your awareness in this potent place. Making the commitment that you will stay awake through the entire practice. And staying linked to my voice as I hold you. The space in between. your breath to start to envelop and weave and call you deeper into the waters within to the bones the flesh the veins the blood 
drawing your next inhale through the third eye, the space between the eyebrows. And taking the exhale through the whole face. Inhaling through the third eye. Exhaling through the throat. Inhaling through the third eye. Exhaling through the center of the heart. Inhaling through the third eye. Exhaling through the palms of the hands. Inhaling through the third eye. Exhaling through the navel. Inhaling through the third eye. Exhaling through the womb space. Inhaling through the third eye. Exhaling through the soles of the feet. Now draw your next inhale up through the soles of the feet. Exhale through the crown of the head. Inhale through the crown of the head. Exhale through the soles of the feet. Inhale through the soles. Exhale through the crown of the head, staying with this breath as you weave from crown to root, and root to crown, from the soles of the feet to the crown of the head, from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. breath to reside at the center of your heart as you breathe in through the front of the heart and exhale through the back of the heart inhale through the back of the heart and exhale through the front of the heart inhale through the front of the heart exhale through the back of the heart Staying with this breath as you thread and weave through your heart center. Piercing through the center of the heart. Disarmoring any hard edges. As you open and activate the spiritual heart the portal to the unseen. And now let's count the breaths down from 33 to 1. Each breath taking you deeper into the chamber of the heart. As you mentally count each breath from 33 to 1, starting now. And if you lose count, coming back to 33 and starting again. Mentally counting each breath from 33 to 1, starting now. Sankalpa, 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 your I am statement, your one pointed resolve, your positive, concise, 
resolve that you are embedding into your bones. Mentally repeating your Sankalpa over and over again now. The truth that you are reawakening and activating. Your I am statement. Mentally repeating it over and over and over again. your awareness to reside at the crown of your head. Witness as a white healing light envelops the crown of your head. There's no physical movement through the practice. As I guide you through rotation of consciousness, just moving your breath, your awareness in this white healing light as I name off. Parts of your physical body. The white healing light that resides at the crown of the head. Moves to the forehead. Right eyebrow. Left eyebrow. Pineal gland. Right eyeball left eyeball both eyes together in a white healing light both eyes sinking heavier and heavier into their sockets nose upper lip lower lip chin the whole face whole face in a white healing light, center of the throat, collarbone, right chest, left chest, center of the heart, upper abdomen, navel, lower abdomen, the pelvic bowl, narrow of awareness and the healing white light weaves to arrive at the hip creases of both legs. As simultaneously, the light descends to the quadriceps, knees, shins, ankles. Extending all the way to the tips of all ten toes. Wrapping around to the soles of the feet. Sending back up the legs. The calves. Hamstrings. Buttocks. Lower back. Upper back back of the heart shoulder blades back of the neck the witch's eye back of the skull crown of the head slowly the healing white light washes over the face cascades down to arrive the shoulders of both arms as the light descends to the biceps elbows forearms wrists extending all the way to the tips of all ten fingers wrapping around to the palms of the hands sending back up the arms to the elbows triceps 
shoulders, weaving around to arrive at the center of the heart. As the light lands at the center of the heart, just witnessing as it expands and expands and expands to encompass your whole body. As inner spaciousness takes over, as the light envelops your whole being and holds you in your truth. Beautiful, expansive light. As you reside deep within it. Witness as a light hones back in to come at the heart. See an arc, a beam of light extend from the heart to the third eye. Another beam, arc of light extend from the heart to the soles of the feet. Another arc or beam of light extend from the heart to the womb space. Let your awareness arrive at the third eye as you follow the arc, the beam from the heart to the third eye. From here, I'll guide you through rapid image visualization. As I name an image, imagine, feel, see, and direct your attention entirely towards creating this visualization. Allow it to fall back into the emptiness that created it as quickly as it formed. Notice the power of the mind to create an experience at will. A single flame burning, tribes dancing around campfire. Ladies, cosmic womb, plunging into the witch's well, crone with a raven on her arm, turbulent sea, lying in a sea of moss. mound of bones, tapestry of the new earth, woman running with the wolves, parallel universes, inner chamber of the great pyramids, sacred temple, Bathing in the holy waters. Mary Magdalene walking on water. Dragons soaring through the air. Druids in prayer. Sacred grove. Holy oak tree. Rooted and anchored into the earth. Rooted and anchored into the earth. Rooted and anchored into the earth. Now follow the arc, the beam of light from the third eye. womb space. As you rest your awareness at the portal of the womb, 
we'll count the breaths from five to one. Each breath taking you deeper and deeper to the womb space. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. As you arrive in the waters of the womb, safe and held in the water's embrace, just allow the waters to wash you, the veins, the chambers. sacred parts of your body, the sacred pieces of your holy vessel. As the waters guide you from the womb all the way down to the soles of the feet. As your awareness drifts through the currents, the chambers, the vessels, the veins, from the womb to the soles of the feet, you arrive at the lands of your soul as your awareness anchors into the holy place for you to rise rooted as your awareness drifts through the currents, the chambers and lands at the soles of the feet the holy earth just allow to come into your mind's eye the space the land that you are rising from and as you arrive in this space just allowing all of its energy its essence to be embedded into your bones as you see the sacred place that the waters have taken you to, the lands that hold the codes, to the remembering and reawakening within your body. So just taking in the land that you have arrived on trees that might surround you, the waters that might hold you, the springs, the creeks, the fissures, just taking in all the pieces, this land that you've arrived on. Wherever it is that you've arrived, coming to lie down and sinking into its fertile soil, to its energy, its essence. As you see yourself lying down in this holy space, just visualize roots extending down from your body to the ground beneath you as you draw up the medicine of the mother as the roots fissure and extend down into the soils the waters the roots might extend all the way down to the core of the earth through the mycelian the crystalline grid stones the rocks these roots extend down from your body to the mother to the earth that holds you as you draw up her wisdom her messages all that is ready to be received as you plug back in the earth you 
rose from. And I'll leave you here in silence as you receive the medicine of Gaia, the earth that holds you. And I'll call you back when it's time. As you lie held on the earth, a light cracks open from the heavens, cascades down upon you. As your light being is activated, as the light within starts to grow and expand the light of the cosmos, the light of the stars, the light from the cosmic womb cascades down and amplifies the light within, receiving the codes, transmissions, so your light is amplified and activated. Sankalpa, 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 mentally repeating your Sankalpa 
over and over and over again. Now, mentally repeating your Sankalpa over and over again. Now, embedding it into the earth, into the bones, breathing it into the cosmos. Mentally repeating your Sankalpa over and over again. Now, becoming aware of the earth that your body rests upon, in the back of the heels, buttocks, shoulder blades back of the skull feeling the heaviness of your physical form as you start to breathe life back into it the rhythm of your heart starts to deepen as the breath expands and weaves Slightest movement comes into your fingers, into your toes. As you slowly rest onto your right side. Pausing into the space. Slowly rising rooted from the fertile soil. As you come all the way to seated with the eyes closed. Hands land together at heart center in prayer. And the practice of yoga nidra is now complete. Here we tat sat. Rubbing the palms of your hands together, creating a little bit of heat. And once you've created enough heat, placing your hands onto the soles of your feet gently rubbing your hands or guiding them up your legs into your womb space your abdomen the center of your heart and washing your hands down your arms and placing the hands on the crown of your head allowing your hands to wash over your eyes your face you awaken your holy vessel your earth and hands come together back at heart center in prayer lightly blinking the eyes open and so it is